What's up, guys? It's uh, week two in review for this 2020 season of Peanut Butter Jelly Time League Fantasy Football. Scores were off the chain again this week with 11 out of 12 teams breaking the century mark. Uh, lots, four out of the six games were nail biters. It was a great week for fantasy football, except for, well, maybe one team. But we'll get to that later on. Let's jump into the scores. Uh, leading the way with scoring this week was the Lake Show. Lake Show tops Texas Rattlesnakes 162.38. To 152.62, a 10 point game, one of those close games I mentioned. Cam Newton, Super Cam. Maybe I might get used to this. I don't know. I always hated it, but it's all right now. Cam, 38.58 points. Sanders uh, with 20.6, although I thought he got had a little uh, injury there, but maybe not. Uh, and then Taylor with 20 uh, for the Lake Show. Sponsky had Matt Ryan with 36.52. Fournette scores two touchdowns for Tampa Bay, uh, and he ends with 27.6. And Mike Evans, another Tampa Bay product, uh, with 21.9. Um, that uh, moves the Lake Show to 101, and Texas Rattlesnakes, right where they're used to being, 0-2. We still got that pink shirt for you, Sponsky. Keep it up, buddy. <laughs> All right, moving on. Bathtub Gin, 155.86 over the Dragers, 144.2. An 11-point spread there. Another really close game. Uh, Ridley leads the way for Gin, 28.4. Uh, the Chubster, 27.8. And Julian Edelman with a couple of nice catches in that uh, Monday night game, 23.9, Sunday night game, excuse me. Um, and then for the Dragers, Jones, uh, 45.6. Uh, Stephon Diggs, 27.3. And another Green Bay man, Aaron Rodgers, 22.7. Um, now, let's see what we got here. Make sure I didn't already fuck this up. No, I didn't. We're good. Um, all right, St. Lucia taking control of the Pawtucket Brewers division, moves to 2 0 as he tops the Chili Dogs. Uh, 138 point, excuse me, 141.42 over the Dogs, 138.98. What's that? Barely three or four points spread right there. Uh, for the winners, Russell Wilson, 43.42 in that great Sunday night game, as mentioned. CMC, 22.8, and Montgomery, 20.2. Uh, for the Dogs, uh, Allen, 47.48. Uh, Zeke with 21.2, and Chris Carson with 18.3. Both those quarterbacks, north of 40, but still not the highest score of the week as far as players are concerned. Usually, we see that high score player attached to a high score owner. Not the case this week. Topping all scorers was Dak Prescott in a losing effort. How about that? Uh, Sheboygan Headbangers go to 1-1 one one in that Pawtucket division. 126.48 over the lights. 121.9. For the winners, Homie. 33.48, Waller 24.3, and Johnson 19.2. And then in that losing effort, Dak Prescott 48.8 points in that comeback win for the Cowboys. Kamara 33.9, and Drake 10.5. Uh, let's move down here to um, Bella Check Yourself. Bella Check Yourself, 1-1. One over Cobra Kai, 0-2. Uh, in the Quahog Division, Belichick, 122.34. Over that Cobra Kai team, uh, 104.78. For the winners, Murray, 34.14. Higby, 25.9. And Eckler, 16.8. In the losing effort, McLaurin, 24. Kelsey, 19.5. And Dalvin Cook, 16.1. Um... 
So let's see what we got left. Uh, unfortunately, we have one game left. We had the second highest scoring team last week become the absolute worst team and the only team not to break 100 this week. We had Mambunga topping the Clash City Rockers 102.18 to 81.7. Uh, for Mambunga, Drew Brees leads the way 18.48, uh, Mostert 17.7. And Tucker, which is, this is going to be funny, Tucker, 15 points. I mean, that's pretty respectable. His kicker, double digits, 15 points. Now, for the losers, Kareem Hunt had an incredible game on Thursday night. What a way to start the week. 23.1 points. Yeah, I didn't get cute. I left Deshaun Watson in there. I didn't draft him in the fourth round and put him on the bench. I left him in. He scored a whole 16.7 against our hometown Ravens. And then luckily, on Monday night, Jacob scores 12 so that my kicker doesn't end up as the third highest scorer with only seven points uh, for this week's rocker. I don't even know if you want to call it a team. It was fucking awful. All right, it's Wednesday. We're 24 hours away from the start of Week three, we have Dolphins Jaguars, the beard versus the stash. Uh, I saw a lot of transactions. Looks like you guys are doing well with the uh, free agent budget. Fab, I guess you cool kids call it. Uh, I spent all my money last week, so I held back and I made some zero dollar moves after waivers went through uh, for uh, uh, some real big Kicker and defense moves. Yeah. I'm coming back this week, baby. You know it. All right. Here we go. Week three starts now.